What do we got? What's going on? Joe Munoz, Juan Dominguez, OneStepPrep.com. We're here to talk to you today about what? Practicing your instrument scan before you go into the sim, folks. This is particularly for those of you out there very low experience, low time. The J&J &J team, we've done a lot of 250 hour pilots out there. Look, if you're low time, low experience, and maybe your instrument scan hasn't developed fully, or even if you're not, maybe you're going to the 7.3 or the 3.20, the CRJ, you're going from one airplane that wasn't glass into an airplane that's glass, <laughs> or maybe you're going into an airplane that's- The other way around, right? The other way around, the right? Way it's around. For, vice versa. <laughs> the main thing is- Let's show them, let's show them how we're gonna do sims, this. Desktop sims, man, desktop sims right here. There you go. Oh. <laughs> Desktop sims are the way to go for you to prepare and for you to get a scan and a level of comfort where you can actually fly the thing and still talk and say the call outs, the profiles and the procedures all at the same time. So what we're saying is make sure your instrument scan is elevated to a level of proficiency. You feel comfortable with where the vertical speed indicator is. You feel comfortable with where the airspeed tape is, the altimeter, the attitude indicator, the heading indicator. Make sure you know where these things are in the aircraft that you're training on so that you can have a flowing scan unconsciously, right? Have a flowing scan that flows well and also do the call outs at the same time.